Hey everyone, before we get started on our first reading, I wanted to give you a really brief overview of time and place to give you some context about Beowulf that I think will be really helpful. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, um, this is a brief history of Britain, or what the heck are Anglo-Saxons and why do I care about them? Here's a brief map of England, um, just to give you a sense of what we're looking at. Um, and there will be other maps later on, but you don't have to memorize anything. Here is England here, and then of course Scotland is up here. And then this is the Isle of Ireland, and if you know your Irish history um, or your English history, there's a border right about here, and everything up here is Northern Ireland. And this is the Isle of the Republic of Ireland, or Free Ireland. Um, so before our time period, before the Anglo-Saxons, the Roman Empire, and they were Christians, um, held part of Britain from A.D. 40 to A.D. 410. Um, they call it the Romantic Romano-Britain Age. Um, and the, Ro the Roman Empire started to fall apart, and so the Romans left, um, and the Saxons began to invade. So it's important to know that the Roman Empire were Christians, and they they did not leave Christianity with them, then the Saxons invaded and they were a pagan race. So here is a great map. I love this map because it actually shows you um, the invasion of the Saxons and where they came from. And if you can see, it's mainland Europe, um, parts of Germany, um, Denmark, um, all sort of invaded and brought with them their language and their culture. Um, and then in 597, Christian missionaries led by St. Augustine began to arrive. They brought Latin, um, and they actually were writing down some of the stories that the native tribes and the Anglo-Saxons brought with them. Um, and just worth noting that language, the English language, was changing pretty rapidly during this time period, and we're going to see a huge change in dialect and spelling um, throughout this course. But it's worth noting that the, the, there was no real standard way of spelling. And even into Shakespeare's time, into the late 1500s, early 1600s, there wasn't really a standard way of spelling. And so um, that leads to a particular controversy dealing with William Shakespeare that we'll talk about later on. So it's kind of a little interesting side note. Um, so if you've been watching Vikings, it's a great show on Amazon. I haven't watched it in a while. I'm, I'm a little behind. Um, but they are also involved. Um, they started invading around 787, and they were hanging around. They uh, stayed until the 11th century. And then the Danes uh, remained in power until 1042. And one of the early great kings uh, was a Dane. One of the early great British kings was a Dane, and he was called Canute. That's how you pronounce that. And so Beowulf, how does he fit in all this? Um, the action of Beowulf takes place between the 6th century, but it was only written down between the 8th and 11th century. So I'm going to go back to that map, this one, and remind you that over here is where the action of Beowulf takes place. But the story, the oral story, came with them to Britain. And so it asks the question, is this a British story? Or is it not? It was written in Britain by these missionaries, um, but since it doesn't take place there, does it actually belong in this course? And I really like to ask that question because I, I'm not sure there's a straight answer, but it's something interesting to think about. Um, like I said, the setting is in Scandinavia, um, but it's one of the earliest English writings because it was written down in England. Um, and here is, actually, and this is in your Blackboard page, there's a single remaining manuscript of the text of Beowulf. Let me see if this will work. Whoops, okay, never mind. We'll go, you can take a look at it in Blackboard. Um, so it was, spoken word, it was spoken for centuries before it was written down. Um, and then just a little side note here, 1066 is a great date in English history when William the Conqueror, a Norman, Norman king, and if you know World War II history, when the um, Allies invaded Normandy, that's the coast of France. So that's where he came from. He came over the English Channel um, and took over Britain in the Battle of Hastings. Um, and then here is my citations. So hope this helps. <laughs>